Uh, yes, hello there. Uh, I received a call from, you know, like a voice robo call about a arrest warrant or something. Can you tell me what's happening? Can you help me out with your first name and your last name? Yeah, it's Rohim. Rohim Box. Yeah, they don't check now your passport. I'm sorry? It's uh, Rohim Box. Huh? How can you spell that? Rohim, R O H I M. Mm -hmm. Can you confirm with me your last four digit of your social? Yes, it's uh, 1120. Alright, please hold the line. I will pull out your records and I will let you know. Right. Thank you for holding your line. Yeah. <clears throat> hello? Yes, hello, yeah, yeah, I'm still here. Yeah, the reason of this call is to inform you that we have received a notice from the law enforcement agency to suspend your social on an immediate basis. As we have received suspicious files of information on your name. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, uh, what the what did you receive? I mean, I, I know nothing about it. All right. The investigation started when we recovered an abandoned car in the south border of Texas. All right. Make and model of the car was Toyota Corolla with the license plate number TX two four. For all. The car contains some blood and drugs residing inside. After investigation, we found that the car was rented under your name, under your social information. Oh boy, how the, who the hell has done that? Yeah, okay, carry on, tell me. Yeah, but so, is that mean like, uh, uh, am I in trouble or what? May someone have been access your information? Uh, could be. I'm not sure. But it ain't all okay until you t you told me. Have you ever been to the state of Texas before? No, no, no. I've never been there. No. Right. Have you ever lost your phone or wallet before? No, no, no. Nothing like that. Because in the financial <coughs> institute, we have recovered more than 12 bank accounts under your name. And thousands of dollars have been wired locally or internationally. Oh boy. Yeah, but like, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, okay, can you tell me what, like, uh, what else is happening then? One after one, you're telling me. So what is this? All right, sir. What can I do for you? I will transfer your call to my senior officer. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Fine. Fine.
Hi, Paul has been connected to the head of the department of Social Security Administration's department. How are you doing today? Yes, uh, hello there. Yeah. No, I, uh, I was okay until I heard this uh, weird news. Uh, you know, like, uh, I didn't know this is okay, what is going on. Okay, don't worry. See, at this point of time, you can be rest assured that the government is with you, okay? In yeah, fact, okay. Uh, there are three departments so that are trying to help you out. Uh, the Federal Trade Commission Department, the Department of Justice, and the District Attorney. Now, see, we, uh, I, my officer has already informed you that someone has stolen your identity, okay? And they have conducted some fraudulent transactions. Now, first of all, I just want to ask you a few questions from you. Like, uh, do you remember sharing your social security number with any of your family members, friends, relatives, or neighbors? No, 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 I've never done that. No, no. It's uh, personal. Okay. I keep it to myself. Okay. Uh, do you remember sharing it with any third party over the phone, like a telemarketer or such? No, no, nothing like that, no. Okay, do you have a computer? Yes, I have, yeah. Okay, do you remember putting in your social security number on any of the online websites, like payday loan or credit card application or such? Or did you get any kind of a pop-up on the computer screen that in your computer. Uh, no, no, no. And not done anything like that, no. I mean, I normally just... Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, I just uh, okay. usually okay. Uh, keep okay. these uh, info. Uh, okay. Is there... okay. Hello, you are coming like in and out. What is going on? Can you hear me now? Uh, no, no, you're coming in and out still. Is there any? Can you hear me now? Yeah, now I can Correct hear me? you. Uh, now I can hear you, yeah. Okay. Okay, now you can hear me now. All right, now, is there anyone in your family who's into drug activity or criminal charges? No, no, none of that, no. Okay, there's no one of that. Okay, now, see, first of all, as we have already started the investigation, we have already started the investigation, we are on the verge to go ahead and get a criminal arrested as soon as possible, who have stolen your identity, okay? Oh, oh okay, so you know that I'm in the Now, incident. all we would need from your side... Sorry? Uh, well, uh, so you know I'm innocent. Yeah, yeah, we know that. And that's the reason we're helping you. All right, Now, thank you. first of all, uh, all we need from your side is your cooperation. Okay, you have to keep these details very, very confidential. The reason why is because, see, you cannot trust anyone these days. Like, right. if the criminal is around you, and if they get to know that you have started the investigation with the Social Security Administration Department, what's going to happen is they probably might run away from the city, stay in the country. And if that happens, then we'll not be able to get hold of the criminal. Okay. So, until we get hold of the criminal, just keep the details very confidential, okay? Right. Keep it secret, okay? Now, see, the, re because the reason I'm asking all this question is because the person who has stolen your identity, okay? Okay. They have opened, like, more than 20 bank accounts under your name using your personal information and your social security number. Uh, that includes second account, savings account, and, yes, business account, Okay. Right. So we were in the impression that probably you might have opened this bank account. But what happened is, there were more than $500,000 that have been transferred internationally to a different country. Oh. And that to a narco profiting country like Colombia and Mexico. That's correct. And that's the reason why uh, there were two other uh, prime suspects for money laundering. And I'm sure you're aware it's a serious offense in the United States of America. Okay? Right. Okay. And has been transferred to a narco profiting country. The, even the drug trafficking allegation was pressed under Yoni because we thought that probably you might have opened these bank accounts and done a money laundering. But when we did a background check on the social security number, we did not find any suspicious activity. In fact, your bank statements were also generous. Okay? So we then tried to monitor like from which place are these people operating the bank account, wherein we got to know that they have been operating it from different, different states. The major state was in the state of Texas. Like, have you ever been to a state of Texas? Uh, no, 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 I've never been there, though. 
Okay, but KC, we also receive information there are three apartments in the state of Texas that have been rented under your social security number and your personal information. Now, the three states are in Dallas, Texas, and in Texas. So, we do have an FBI team in the state of Texas, but then we just wanted your permission because we are about to go and send the FBI team to raid these apartments. And whoever we raid the apartment will be taken into custody, will be under arrest. So I'm sure that you don't have any relatives using your socials and renting an apartment in the state of Texas. Is that correct? Uh, sure. Uh, it's, it's correct. I don't know anybody there, though. Yeah, but, uh, but can you explain to me, like, uh, you okay, know... Okay, so we can certainly... We can Mm-hmm. Yeah, C- can you explain yeah, to me? Uh, can you explain to me? You know the abandoned car you said uh, about the abandoned car. Uh, yeah, the we, abandoned car. Yeah, about the abandoned car. What happened was there was some blood residues and uh, blood residues found in the car. All right, wherein that car was also rented under your name because we have few cars in the state of Texas as well that has your name on the title. Okay, so that's the reason why it's a. Uh, First of all, we have received orders from the government on an urgent basis to suspend your social security number, okay? So no doubt we provide you with the name 90 social security card, but what's going to happen is once you go and start suspending your social, all the bank account which is listed under your social will also get suspended, okay? So, but right now it's quite confusing for us to identify what really exactly are your true belongings and what the criminal has applied under your name. So I just have to quickly go ahead and fill a verification form for you. Now, do you own the property or do you rent the property? No, I, I own the property. Okay, and do you have any car on well, your name? Uh, not at the... Well, yes, I do have a car, yeah. Okay, what is the make and the model of the car? It's Toyota Corolla Versa. Oh, Toyota Corolla, okay. Yeah. Toyota Corolla, alright. And will you also verify your last name again for me? A second. Your last name. My last name is Box. B O X. How do you spell that? B O X. B O. Okay, Box. Okay, I may have your current zip code. Yes, it's uh, one zero zero one three. Okay, and do you, which uh, how many banks do you bank with? Currently? Yeah, just what one. What is the financial institution bank? Just one what, bank. One bank. What is the name of the bank? Yeah, Chase Bank. Okay. And is that a checking account or a savings account that you have? Uh, Chase just bank? checking account. Okay. And how much is the balance that you have in the checking account, approximately? Um. Ex- uh, yes. Um. Estimated is, I would say, uh, one thousand and two hundred. Okay. And is that the only bank to bank with, or do you have any other banks as well? Uh, that's the only bank. Okay, and do you have any credit card which is linked to your Chase Bank or do you have any savings account? Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, just debit card. Visa debit card. Is, uh, I have... Uh, oh, no credit card. No credit card. Yeah that's, a, yeah, that's a wise decision because most of the customers do go ahead and come into debt when they go ahead and start using credit card because they spend a lot and it's a hard time for them later on to go ahead and pay that off. Okay. So, see, what I have to do right now is after this, go and have a word with the Federal Trade Commission's department, okay? Yeah, yeah, I have yeah. to provide them with your state bank account information because we don't want, like, once we start suspending your social, all the bank account which is listed under your social will also get suspended because with all 20 fake bank accounts, we have to suspend them. We cannot afford them to send money to a different country by oh. competing money laundering, okay? Yeah, but... So, uh, we have to just update your state bank account, make sure that, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, but uh, yeah, but another thing is that. Do you have any questions? Yes, you know that you said that uh, about the car has been found. It, it's been on the news though, but yeah. uh, they didn't mention anything about drugs and blood or anything like this inside. Okay, but uh, okay, but the thing is, uh, have you uh, noticed like uh, the make and the model was the same as the car that you have, Toyota Corolla? Okay. Oh, I so see. don't worry. We have already started the investigation here. We have already started the investigation. In fact, we take the ownership and make sure that we get hold of the criminal as soon as possible. In fact, by the end of the day today, I, can I go ahead and book an appointment with one of our social security administration officers who can come to your doorstep to provide you with a new social security card? Will that be fine with you? Oh, yes, 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 please. Without social security, you know, I can't uh, okay. go about. <laughs> yeah, that's good. 
Yeah, I think that's correct. Now, right. is this your home phone number, your cell phone number that that's you're speaking on? This, this one is a cell phone number. Okay. Now, I would need a one phone recording that I can play at the concerned department. That will work as an evidence in your favor. Okay? Right. So, just stay on the line with me. Yep. Let me have a word with the federal trade commission's department. Just yep. stay on the call. Okay. Thank you. Right. And I have also one question, like, uh, do you have any of your family member who's into drug activity or criminal charges as such? No, 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 nobody, as far as I know. No one. Oh, uh, as far as you no, okay, fine, no problem. Just stay on the line with me, okay? Just stay with me. Right. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for seeing on mine. Yes. Hello. Yes, yes, hello. Yes, I appreciate your yeah, I appreciate your patience. Now, see, I just had a board with the central department. I've uploaded the Federal Trade Commission Department, the Department of Justice, and the District Attorney. Okay. Right. Now, uh, see, the District Attorney has already. Uh, I just had a word on your behalf, and I informed them that you had nothing had to do with this. Okay. So you know where about the information. Okay. Okay. You're new to this. Now, that's the reason why the two allegations that were pressed under your name, the money laundering and drug trafficking, has kept on hold until we get hold of the real culprit, the real criminal. Okay? Yeah, right. Okay. So, all the allegations have kept on hold. Now, see, the attorney is asking me a question like, do you want to keep the details confidential or do you want to update any public? Do you want to keep the details confidential or do you want to update this information in public? Uh, well, confidential, yeah. <laughs> That's why you know I recommend because see, if we put in public, then what's going to happen is we have to update uh, the local media, the newspapers about it. Okay, and if we do that, they might put your name on the newspaper stating that identity theft victim as such. And if the criminal is around in your city, they might get to know. They might run away from the situation. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Do what you have. And if we normally. 
<laughs> yeah, because see, normally if you put in public, then uh, we are also have to update the local authority, the county sheriff department, and if they get to know there is a money laundering suspect, they might keep a close eye on you. In fact, and if your bank people will get to know they, they, if there is a money laundering suspect, they might put a block on your bank account. We don't want that to happen. Okay? Right. Okay. Do what you now, uh, think is now best. Now, see what the federal. Yeah, yeah. Now, what the federal trade commission department has informed me, in order to go ahead and make sure that we can. Go ahead and keep your. You want your case bank to be active. You don't want that to get blocked at all, right? Right. Not blocked at, okay. at all. No. Now see what they. Yeah, yeah, that's correct because that's the only bank to bank with. I already informed the concerned department. Okay. Now see what you can do is we can provide you with an option. All right. We can provide you with the first of all, uh, what they have informed me. Uh, like they inform me if they start suspending your social, your case bank might get affected. So if you want to go ahead and keep it active, all right, they have given you a few options. Like you can go to the bank, you can get a cash to check with the balance that you have. But see, that option we have canceled. We are not taking that option at all because if the bank account is suspended, the cash to check will be just kind of a piece of a paper. That will not work at all. Okay? Yeah, okay. Wherein, that's correct. So what they have informed me, what we can do is help you convert this amount into an electronic digital voucher. Okay? Like a digital government debit card. Okay? Uh -huh. Okay. Wherein... What you have to do is you have to just use your card to identify the government that this state bank is not being uh, used by the criminal. Like it's not been applied by the criminal, and this is your bank, your own bank that you use for daily purpose. Okay. Now, do you have any government certified place uh, near the place where you are, which is affiliated with the Social Security Administration and the Federal Trade Commission Department? Like, do you have a, a Walmart store nearby? Yes, I, I have. Or any yeah. other government? Walmart. Okay, I how have. far is the Walmart? Yeah, uh, how that's, far is the Walmart? That's the nearest one. Uh, maybe uh, uh, you know, like uh, half a mile from where I am. Oh, half a mile. Okay. Yeah. Do you have a pen and a paper handy? Pen and pa yes, uh, I have here. So yeah. Okay. So do you want just to just take down my name? Uh, I'm the. Yeah, just take down my name. Um, uh, my name is Jack Lawson. I'm from the head of the department. Okay, for Social Security Administration's office. You can also take down my federal batch ID number. Uh, oh wait, okay? uh, start with uh, it's, start off with your name. Can you can you spell it out? It's Jack. My name is Jack Lawson. L A W S O N. Like Jack in the box. J A S C C K. That's correct. My last name is Lawson. L A W S O N. Yeah, Lawson. Yeah. And now you tell me, uh, is it the batch ID number you're gonna give me? Yeah, it's F as in Frank, T as in Tom, A as in Alpha. Yeah. Three two five zero. Three two five zero. Got, Got it. it. Got it. Yeah. That's my federal tax agent ID number. All right. Now, all I want you to do is see so the two court committee members, the bar counselors, everyone are listening to this call. So I would need a one call recording that I can play at the concerned department. What we are trying to do here is we want to provide you with an NOC letter. Which is a no objection certificate. Okay. Right. So if any part of time, any of the investigation team, the FBI, if they come to your home address for investigation, you can just simply show them this NOC letter, and they'll identify you're already working with the Social Security Administration team, and they'll yeah. not interfere at all. Okay. Right. So, and uh, what would be the right time for my officer to come to your home address today? By the end of the day, would that be fine? Uh, today, today they can come. Uh, end of the day or even now because I'm, I'm still here so I, I mean o'clock yeah fine you can see right now what you have to do is uh, right now what you have to do is first of all uh, you have to just take your photo ID proof like a driver's license yep. or your social security card and take your debit card which is linked to your case bank okay? Right, okay and what you can do is once you're ready once you're ready once you sit in your car once you're about to go to the Walmart store just let me know because all you have to do is completing the case papers formalities and we'll make sure by the end of the day today itself We'll provide you with your new social security card, the NOC letter, and all the paperwork in black and white. Okay, so okay? you. So we also have to make sure. We also have to make sure that this case bank would automatically get linked to your new social security number and all the financial institution, including the credit bureaus like France, Sweden, and Bank and Experian. Okay. Right. Uh, yeah. So okay. what you want to do is just take your debit card, take your photo ID proof. Once you get dressed up, like uh, take your phone if you have a car charger. Take a car charger, as I said, like just a mile away. Just when you're about to sit in your car, once you're about to drive, 
to the Walmart store, just let me know. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Till uh, then, I'm just working on the case file and doing Yeah. Right. Do you have oh, any questions? No, no. Fine. 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 Oh, okay. I'll get ready now. I'll get yeah. everything ready and and yeah, come get ready. Yeah. Get ready. Once you're properly. Yeah. Okay. Make sure the line does not get disconnected. Keep on your speed more. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, uh, hello. I'm inside the car now. Do oh, you you're inside the car now? Right. Do you want me to start yeah. driving? Now see. Yeah, now let me listen to me very carefully. Yeah. Uh, did you take a pen and a paper handy as well with you? Yes, pen and paper, driving license ID okay. and uh, debit card. Okay, all right. And uh, see, as for the law, you cannot talk and drive. So I don't want you to get a ticket for this, okay? Right. So just keep your phone on a speaker mode. Keep the phone aside. Yep. Start driving. Once you get to the parking lot of Walmart, just let me know. So how long will it take for you to get there? Yeah, about uh, 20 minutes, maybe. 20 minutes? Okay, not a problem. So just make sure the line does not get disconnected. Keep right. the phone on a speaker mode. Yeah, yeah, right? sure. Okay, cool. then. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Have a safe drive, okay? Right.
Can you put me online? Yes, yes, I'm still here, yeah. I'm uh, driving. Okay, how long, will it, how long will it take for you to get there approximately then? Yes, uh, yes, another maybe uh, 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Okay, not a problem. Must you get to the parking lot, just let me know, okay? Right. Okay. Thank you for staying online. Yeah, yeah, I'm still here. I'm driving. Oh, we are just we just got an update from the concerned department. Like, how long more will it take for you to get to the Walmart parking lot? Yes, um, I think another five minutes because uh, all the tra uh, traffic's are clear, roads are clear, and uh, I'm going through okay, all the green uh, light so far. Okay, okay, not a problem. Take your own time. Right. Okay, I'll provide you with the instructions. Okay. Now I also wanted to ask you that I believe that you don't have like a big amount of cash at your home, right? No, no, no. no. At ca uh, at you home, uh, around about sixty dollar maybe. Sixty. Okay, that's absolutely fine. Because see, at this point of time, I don't want you to keep more amount of cash because if the investigation team come at your doorstep, the money laundering suspect, which is there under your name, should not be executed. I don't want you to be in trouble just to be on a safer side. Okay. Right. That's correct. That's the reason why I'm asking you. Yeah, cool. Once you get to the parking lot, just let me know. I'm just, uh, we are almost complete with all the formality. As for the case papers are complete. And uh, once we are complete with the formalities, I'll make sure that the nearest local social security administration officer will be coming to your doorstep. Right. Okay, cool. Great.
Yeah, I'm at the parking lot now. I parked the car. Okay. Did you reach the parking lot? Yes, I, I have parked. Okay. Now, see, do you have a get, take a pen and a paper? Okay. I have provided with the instructions what you can do. Okay. What do you have to do? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So do I? Yeah. But, uh, you want me to write write it down? You mean? Yeah. You have to just write it down. Uh, yes. See, as you are the world master, what you have to do is you have your debit card, correct? Yes, I have. You have your photo ID proof as well? Yes, the driving license, yeah. The ID. Okay. Now, in order to go ahead and identify like your Chase bank account, this is the actual bank account that you bank with, okay? Yeah. All you have to do is you have to just go ahead and use your Walmart, uh, uh, use your debit card at the Walmart shop, okay? Yeah, okay. Now, all you have to do is you have to, you have to purchase, I provide you, if the, if the name is just write it down, it's Walmart. Yeah, Walmart then. And it's gift card. Gift. Walmart gift card. G I card, yeah. mm -hmm. F. And it's not a visa. It's not a visa. It's not a master. It's not a, because they once you go to the Walmart, they might ask you recommend to get your get your money card as such. Please don't take any of these cards. You have to just ask that you want a Walmart gift card. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, see, once you take this card, if you notice, like uh, once you get this card, they will be having a barcode, like uh, the barcode at the back. They'll scan the barcode and they'll upload the money in the car. Okay, so you yeah. have to just take, give them your debit card, take the receipt from the store. Now the same kind of a scanning machine will also be having with the Social Security Administration officer who's gonna come to your doorstep oh, okay. by the end of the day today. Yeah, yeah. Okay? Cool. 
So once they scan the money, once they scan it, what's going to happen? This money will be directly deposited back to your bank account, or they might also give you a cash check or money in cash if you want to. Okay, but all you have to do. How much money do you have in your debit card? You said checking account. One thousand two hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah, estimated. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, approximately. Yeah. Uh, you're not sure, sure like how much you have. Uh, well. Um, okay. Yeah. So, yes. Roughly. Yeah. So the denomination see uh, you have to take two cards for five hundred dollars each. Okay. Five hundred dollar each. Yeah. 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 Two cards for five hundred dollar and two hundred dollar one card. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So basically, what you can do is take three cards of five hundred dollars. On two cards you can upload 500, and one card you can upload just 200. That will be fine. And please remember to take the receipt from the store. Okay? Uh, yeah. Okay. Cool. And let me inform you, like, if they ask you, they might not ask, but if they ask you, like, why are you taking this card? Please don't inform them anything about the social security, because if they get to know that you're getting this card for commercial purposes, they'll charge you extra 40%. We don't want that. So just inform them that you want it for yourself. Okay, the card is absolutely for free. Got it? So you don't have to pay anything extra. Uh, right? Yeah, okay, cool. So take the receipt. Take the receipt. Don't talk to them in the store. Just take the phone with you because I would need a one call recording a proof that you have completed formality. Okay? Yeah, yeah. So okay. Once you come out of the store with the receipt, just let me know. Okay? Yeah, fine. Okay. And there on the other end, and the post summary members of our council are listening to this call. This one call recording will work as an evidence, and I'll generate a confirmation code and the appointment, appointment detail for you. Okay? Yeah, okay, cool. Go ahead. Okay, so That's I'll... Right, thank right. you. I'll get going. Yeah. So keep your phone on a speaker mode, all right? Don't keep your phone on yeah. mute or on uh, just because of speaker mode. If you keep, then we'll uh, we'll hear, we'll have a one-call recording. So right. Don't keep me on mute, right? Just keep your phone on a speaker yes, mode yes. and don't talk to me in the phone. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. You there? Yeah, I'm still here. Okay, so uh, keep your phone is on, right? Just keep on a speaker mode because we want to hear the recording. Uh, did you get the inside the Walmart store now? Yeah, I'm inside. Center? I'm inside. I'm uh, oh, okay. heading for that uh, uh -huh. gift card section. Sure. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. okay All right, no. yeah. You can just go to the teller. You can either either go to the teller as well. It's a gift card, Walmart gift card, a blue in color. You can just check with them yeah. so that they probably might guide you the assistance. Okay. Right. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll find it. I know where about.
Who would be? Yeah, I've got that now. Now, do you want me to uh, go back into the car or...? Hello, Jack. Do you want me to go back into the car? Yeah, go back in the car. Did you take the receipt, right? Yes, I did. Okay, so when you sit in your car, just check, you know. Okay? Yeah. So how many cards did you get? Yeah, two cards I've uh, got. I uh, yeah, I'm I'm inside the car now. Two cards. Yeah, five hundred each. Okay, two cards. Okay, and how much is the amount of the receipt? Yes, it's uh, five hundred, five hundred, which is thousand. Okay, one thousand, right? Yeah. Now, what time would be back at home? Uh, by what time? Around five, five thirty. You said like, what time? Uh, what time would be the right time? What time would you be reaching home? Because yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I have to go and schedule an appointment. Right? The office is going to come to meet you. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, I'll get there by, uh, well, before 6, let's put it this way. Before 6, right? Yeah. Okay, not a problem. So, see, uh, what do you see? At, do you see that you have the Walmart gift card handy? Like, what do you see at the back side? Do you see the barcode? Yes, yes, I do see. Okay, so that's the barcode that will be scanned by the officer who's going to come to meet you. They'll be having all the paperwork. The reason you have to be at home because it will be a registered mail, a certified mail, and your signature will be required. They'll provide you with a new social security card. And once they scan the barcode, the back is when they'll be providing this money back again. Now, right. above, or, uh, above the barcode or below the barcode, do you see there'll be a long string of numbers with a kind of a gray panel as such? Can you see that? Yes. A card number or a pin number? What do you see the card number section? Well, the card number is all full of shit. I've been wasting your time. Bloody hell. You fall for the trick Sorry? very easily. Well, you fall for the trick very easily, pal. This is uh, uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm prank calling you. So, uh, how long have you been on, on doing this? How long have you been on to these? Sorry? Yes, so how long have what you What did been, you say? How long have you been doing this? Scams and all that. <laughs> How long I have been doing this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, this is not a scam. Which part you don't understand? You can just put my credentials on the online website. Okay, you'll be having all my information. Yes. Okay, fine. I'll have a look at online as well. All good. Okay, it's it okay. Was... The website is www.ssa.gov website. I'm talking about. Okay, that's the valid social security administration headquarters website. Oh yeah. Okay. But okay then, it's been nice. Are you in front of a computer right now? Say again? Yeah, are you in front of a computer? Like, are you going to do it right now? See, because you cannot keep your case file open for a long time. If you take it as a scam, then if I started suspending your social, there's nothing more that I can do in that case. Then all the allegations will be pressed under your name, and the only option will be then you have to hire a criminal lawyer as such. All right, Lee. No, 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 no. Look, I've done this before already. I mean, I, this is what I do all the time. Okay, so why don't you... Okay, so probably it might not be a social security. We just have a word with my head of the manager, right? Department. Yeah, yeah, fine, fine. Go just ahead. have a word with him. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Hello. Yes, hello. Thank you for your patience. Yes, hello there. 
So the uh, yeah, so the uh, the uh, yeah, Jack Lawson said that uh, it's not as calm, and I've been doing this for a long, long time, you know, pranking call and all that. So, <laughs> I mean, uh, what makes you think that, uh, you know, I'm going to believe you? <laughs> you know, like, I've been playing along with him all the, all the way through, and he fall for it. You think, are you sure for that? Well, I'm sure about that, yes. Well, you sure? So the best thing you can do is uh, simply just hang up the line right now so that I can move with the next step towards your cage now. Okay? It was a great to talk to you. Have a great day. Oh, okay, then have a great day. Ciao. Right. He hung up, actually. I didn't even hang up. <laughs> Bloody hell. Kept him in ages on the phone. Oh, why? What a boom. Okay, peeps. Ciao.